any natural disaster, what is normally critical to the first responders on the ground is information about the, uh, the area that they're responding in. And this is often difficult to assess from the ground, so in a, in a lot of cases, uh, airborne data is acquired usually digital photography or for some sort of uh, camera data that allows them to get a kind of bird's eye view of the debris fields so that they can understand what they're dealing with. The fundamental problem with a lot of that data is it's not immediately available when the aircraft lands. They have to go in and uh, do some processing to produce maps and, uh, and then get the data out that they can actually look at. So the idea behind our research was to try to reduce that bottleneck of the processing afterwards and focus on having the data uh, processed in real time on the aircraft. But more importantly than that, when the aircraft lands, even if they have the data processed, there's still a lot of information to uh, digest. And so we wanted to aid that process by doing some very coarse analysis in real time to try to identify critical areas that the first responders needed to pay attention to as soon as they were able to look at that data. LIDAR stands for light detection and ranging, which is really uh, very similar to radar, only instead of using radio waves, you're using light waves. So a LIDAR system sends out a, a short pulse of light and measures the amount of time it takes for it to travel from the source to the uh, surface and back. You uh, multiply that by the speed of light and divide by two and you have a range. And we use these ranges and we do uh, several hundred thousand of these ranges a second. You build that up to, to provide yourself a 3D model of whatever the aircraft is flying over.